Hey everybody, welcome to the Centitar channel. Thank you for being here and joining me where we explore fragrances, colognes, perfumes, all kinds of wonderful smells out there. So let's get into the review. I want to do more just one-on-one -on -one reviews and I'm sorry about Tuesday, technical difficulties again. But uh, let's jump into it. We got something wonderful, wonderful today. It's called CH Men Privé. The CH is for Carolina Herrera, and they make quite a few really good fragrances that are kind of fly under people's radars. I think this is no exception. I don't want to go into uh, a long spiel about presentation, but I think this one has a stellar one. Classy, kind of reserved, elegant kind of box. Quite an interesting flask, you know, looking bottle really nice cap you know just flips on flips off I mean it clicks in the place you couldn't ask for anything better for presentation really some say it might some might think it's corny I think it's just wonderful I, I, I really do love the presentation it's got the gold CH as well but what we're here for is the smell of course so thank you for being patient with me guys I'm a little bit conflicted but let's talk about how great the fragrance is first the fragrance is a sweet, uh, slightly sweet, not a lot, kind of a soft, spicy fragrance. If you know La Nuit de Lome, you know, the lady killer, the, the great fragrance that it is, this is going to be no different. This is really going to remind you of it. It does have similarities. There's no denying it. The soft cardamom which is a, a spicy note, which can seem oh, like it has a little bit of, of freshness along with the uh, spiciness is really what gives this a lot of character. I don't feel like it, this fragrance has the lavender feel of La Nuit de Lone, though. It has a little bit more of like a fabric, kind of like a cottony feel. The fragrance, as it dries down, I feel a tiny bit of tonka and uh, a little bit of suede, which is kind of like a smooth leather. The, the leather is kind of um, hard to pinpoint but I do like it. The fragrance overall has a little bit of a darker vibe than La Nuit so it seems more masculine. It seems more like an alpha fragrance. It seems like a like a you know a fragrance for a confident man for sure. This fragrance is known for having a boozy quality. The booziness I feel isn't really on the top meaning it doesn't smell really boozy in the beginning like a lot of fragrance fragrances. I feel like the booziness really just lightens and kind of freshens the fragrance. Kind of gives it a little bit of a, that aromatic, kind of airy quality. I really like that. This fragrance is really interesting. Um, and let's talk about projection and longevity. That's one reason it's so interesting. I feel like this fragrance doesn't last too long. It lasts, it seems to last four to six hours, but um, I can only smell it that long, but other people can smell it eight, nine hours on me. And the, the projection seems to be modest, but as you walk past people and you're around people, it's not overbearing, it's not too strong, but other people seem to really pick up on it, even though I think it just projects all right, or maybe even a little bit less than I'd want it to. So this fragrance is a really great understated fragrance. A fragrance perhaps when you're, um, you know, easily for dates, easy for out and about situations on the town, with friends. Um, I feel like it does have a little bit of a, uh, a playful quality. You might say, some might say a bad boy quality. I don't think this would be good for business wear. I don't think this would be great for any particular special occasions like weddings and, and funerals and the like, but it's still an upstanding fragrance. I still feel like this is a very versatile fragrance. So I don't know if y'all want uh, reviews with uh, scores particularly. Overall, this is a real winner. I give it a solid eight out of five. I'm really tempted to give it eight and a half. But I can't give it the eight and a half because you got Ferragamo F Black. Ferragamo has a very, very similar DNA to this. 
and although it smells a little bit synthetic it really projects and it's it's much stronger so for those kinds of occasions when you know for the winter especially Ferro, uh, Ferragamo uh, black is a real good competitor but this one just has the booty booziness the, the extra quality uh, it smells a little bit more luxury it's just it's just a great fragrance I'm sure a lot of you guys know about it so let me know what you think about this fragrance in the comments below let me know what you think of it if you smelled it if and guys if you wanted a Lawn de Delone that's more masculine here it is this is your dream come true so I'd like to get the word out if you haven't heard about it this is Carolina Herrera's CH Men Privé. So, I thank you for being here at the Scentadar channel. I'll see you guys next time. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know how I can improve. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.